Hi everyone, welcome to Math and Lee. Today, we are diving into something truly fascinating, association rules. Have you ever walked into a grocery store and noticed products strategically placed together? Like bread and butter or pasta and sauce? Or maybe you've been shopping online and the website magically knows exactly what you might want to buy next. These aren't coincidences. They're the result of understanding hidden relationships in data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uncover these patterns. We'll take a data set, extract meaningful insights, and relate them to real-world examples you encounter every day. By the end of this video, you will have the tools to understand and apply association rules to your own projects. Let's get started. Before we dive into the process, let's talk about what association rules are. In simple terms, they are if-then statements that help identify relationships between items in a dataset. For example, in a grocery store setting, an association rule might look like this. If a customer buys bread, then they are also likely to buy butter. Association rules are particularly useful in scenarios where you want to understand customer behavior or identify patterns in large datasets. They consist of three main components. Antecedent, the if part of the rule, like buying bread. Consequent, the then part, like buying butter. Support and confidence, Metrics that measure how frequently the rule occurs and how strong the relationship is. Support measures how often the combination of items appear overall in the dataset. For example, if out of 100 transactions, 30 transactions include both bread and butter, then the support is 30% or 0.3. Confidence, on the other hand, focuses on how often the then part of the rule happens when the if part occurs. For instance, if out of 50 transactions where bread is bought, 40 also include butter, then the confidence is 80% or 0.8. Association rules are widely used in retail for market basket analysis, but their applications don't stop there. We will see more real-life examples at the end of this video. So, association rules are all about digging into data to find relationships that aren't obvious at first glance. Now, let's see how we can use Orange Data Mining to uncover these rules in action. Now, let's move into Orange Software. In this video, we will be using the Foodmart 2000 dataset throughout the demonstration. So, first of all, Let's see what we have here one by one. First, I have added the datasets widget and loaded a dataset with shopping transactions. Each row represents items purchased in a single transaction. And also, we can see the dataset from the connected data table widget. Then, I have added the frequent item sets widget. This identifies sets of items that commonly occur together. Next, I have connected it to association rules, which generate if-then rules based on these item sets. Finally, I have added final data table to weave the results at each step. This simple setup gives us a powerful tool to explore relationships in data. So, I have loaded the Foodmart 2000 dataset using the datasets widget. After loading the dataset, I have used the data table widget to read the data. This shows the shopping transaction data. Each row represents a unique transaction containing various items purchased. If we see the first row, it shows pasta equals 3, soup equals 2, store ID 2 equals 1, meaning the customer bought 3 units of pasta and 2 units of soup from store 2. So, like that, the dataset serves as the foundation for identifying patterns and relationships among purchased items specific to many stores. And there are 62,560 instances in the dataset. This widget identifies groups of items frequently purchased together. So, there are 41 items in total, and this shows the combinations of items. Support indicates the proportion of transactions containing each item or item set. 
For example, fresh vegetables appear in 28.27% of transactions and soup appears in 11.9% of transactions. And here, from the filters, you can adjust the support thresholds or specify minimum maximum items in an item set. So, this widget highlights which items are often both together, serving as the basis for generating association rules. The Association Rules widget generates rules that show relationships between items in the dataset. So, this table includes several metrics and the associated items which are broken down as follows. If we take the first row as an example, you can see support is 0.05, which means 5% of all transactions include both fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. It shows how often this combination happens in the data. Confidence is 0.287. This means that 28.7% of all the transactions with fresh fruit also have fresh vegetables. It tells us how reliable this rule is when fresh fruit is present. There are also other numbers like coverage, strength, lift and leverage. These help us understand how strong or meaningful this rule is in different ways. Together, they give a complete picture of the connection between the items. Every other row in this table works the same way, showing different rules and their matrix so we can compare and understand the relationships between various items. In summary, this widget is incredibly useful for identifying patterns in data, like which products are frequently purchased together. To make the data even easier to understand, I have added a data table called final data table that displays the same information in a more familiar, straightforward format. This way, you can quickly review and compare the metrics and relationships without needing to interpret the widget's layout. Association rules aren't limited to retail. Let's see some real-life examples of how association rules are used outside of retail. They're actually pretty versatile. For example, in healthcare, these rules help identify symptoms that often occur together. This makes it easier for doctors to diagnose illnesses more quickly and accurately. In marketing, businesses use them to figure out which advertisements work well together. This helps create better campaigns that really connect with customers. And in e-commerce, association rules power those handy recommendations such as customers who bought mobile phones also bought a back cover. These suggestions improve the shopping experience and drive more sales. These examples show how association rules help businesses find useful patterns in their data to make smarter decisions. It's a great way to improve efficiency and keep customers satisfied in all kinds of industries. In this video, I've shown you how to use orange data mining to uncover patterns with association rules and apply them to real world problems. From boosting sales in retail, to improving healthcare services, these insights are invaluable. So, next time you're analyzing data, think about the hidden relationships waiting to be discovered. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Mathly for more data science tutorials. Comment below with what you would like to learn next. Thank you for watching and see you next time.